Do you ever take a moment to appreciate the sky in an open world game? Well, today we're going to learn how to get started on making our own beautiful dynamic sky with a day and night cycle. Like this one, which comes from my brand new Gato Sky asset package for the Gato engine. With Gato Sky, I've done all the hard work for you. So you can quickly load a high quality dynamic sky right into your scene and customize the look and feel with over 20 plus parameters, a full day night cycle, a real star map and high quality clouds. You can grab Gato Sky on my website right now or click the link in the description. To make your own dynamic sky, we need to understand why the sky is blue. It turns out that it's because of a process called Rayleigh scattering. Basically, when light from the sun hits the Earth's atmosphere, it gets scattered by tiny particles. Blue light has a much shorter wavelength and is scattered more than other colors, which is why we see the sky as blue. This process is why we get the color gradients during dusk and dawn, and it's what we need to replicate if we want to create a realistic day and night cycle for a game. But before we dive into the code to make that happen, we need a few things. An atmosphere, which is our sky dome, a light source, which is a directional light, and a camera. The sky dome will contain the sky shader that will do most of the heavy lifting, and the mathematical information we need will come from our two points and the nature of our dome. Now, I always like to break down larger projects into smaller tasks, and my first goal is to simply adjust the color of the sky with an exposed variable in my shader. My shader is a special sky shader type that will automatically provide some information about my dome and the lights in my scene. The usual fragment function is replaced by the sky function, and I can add this line here and a uniform variable to adjust the source color and boom, blue sky. Now to make the sky dynamic, we need to account for the direction of our sun and mimic how that affects the color of our sky. So let's think about the position of our sun at its most basic. If our location is at a height of zero, the position of the sun will shift between one at the peak and negative one at the bottom. To create and control sun position, I created a model within my sky controller. My parent node contains a sun and moon node set opposite one another. Then the sun and moon each contain a directional light pointed in the appropriate direction. Now, as I rotate my sun moon parent node, both objects rotate along with the direction of my lights. This allows me to simply adjust the rotation of my parent node to control both objects. So we have some information that we can use from our sun direction, but the question is, how do we want to translate that into a day and night cycle? My solution is to control the day with a single time of day variable that will range from zero to 2400. This value is remapped to a zero to one time of day alpha value that will be used to control every aspect of our dynamic sky. I can also map my sun position to a zero to one scale by dividing my sun position height by two and adding 0 0.5. This mirrors my time of day scale with midnight being zero and noon being one. I can then rotate my sun and moon with this alpha value, giving me a rotating sun. Now with my new day-night cycle alpha, I can use a 1D gradient color resource to pick different colors and set the sky color based on my time of day. And we already have a nice sky effect. And for some art styles, this may be enough for your day-night cycle for your game. But I'm looking for something that's more realistic, and as we learned earlier, light will scatter more the further it travels. When the sun is at its peak, the light is at its most direct, and as it sinks towards the horizon, the ray length increases, and we get different colors. Needless to say, it's a little bit more complicated than just one color curve. Now, these days, you can definitely do this entirely with math and the GPU and calculate the density of each ray coming from the camera and how it intersects with the light. But I'm going with a different approach. I came across this NVIDIA post on atmospheric light scattering that suggests using a 2D lookup texture that contains pre-calculated scattering values, a texture like this. Using the UVs of the texture, the X value represents the density at certain altitudes in the atmosphere. And the Y value represents the position of the sun, zero being pointing up and one being pointing down. If you rotate to match my gradient alpha setup, it might make a little bit more sense. 
The good news is I already have the Y value from my light direction ready to go. The bad news is I have to figure out the X. This is where the dome comes in. Within the sky shader, there is a built-in variable that gives the normalized direction of each pixel, which act as the rays coming from the camera, giving me a slope of the sphere. Then using this gradual curve of values, plugging that into the X value of my UV with the position of my sun, adjusted so Y equals zero at midnight and one at noon. Now I can use my time of day alpha to multiply my new scattered light values with a color curve to give a dark night sky and a bright blue sky during the day, and then reduce the blue light during dawn and dusk. This color curve also gives me the ability to easily create some pretty alien-like atmospheres. I'm pretty happy with the scattering effect, although it could still use some refinement, but I have a sky with no sun. Now you could just pop a mesh up there and move it around, but for my sun, I'm going to adjust the shader so that whenever the direction of the dome matches the direction of the light, I up my pixel color value to give the effect of a disc. This disc can then be added to my overall sky color and will follow my light direction around as the time of day progresses. Finally, I can do the same color curve trick connecting it to my time of day alpha and adjust the sun color as it travels through the day, as well as the color and intensity of my actual sun, the directional light. With that, we're ready to test our new day and night sky. And if you want to implement the same sky, you can grab my full asset package, Gato Sky, on my website. Not only does it feature a more advanced day-night cycle and atmospheric lighting, but it also features high-quality 2D static clouds, moon and stars, and a slate of customizable parameters to make your own atmosphere color designs. The files can be dropped right into your Gato project, and you're ready to start making some pretty cool 3D scenes. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep creating.